So this is the uh, emitter. Uh, I hesitate calling it a greebly because it's a main part of the construction. You've got the body and you've got this part. Um, personally, I would have preferred if this one had the mouldings on it. It doesn't, it's just perfectly smooth. But what you do get is this sort of template thing. Uh, hand drawn but it's there. Oh, this is a photocopy of it so if I muck this up I could go back to the original. Uh, the idea is of course you have to cut little sections like this out and you stick them on this part then you can spray it black and then after you spray it back you can peel these bits of masking tape off. Um, I've been thinking about different ways of doing it and I've decided what I'm going to do is use my double sided sticky tape. Now as you can see when I put that over there you can hopefully you can see you can just about see through the double sided tape to cut around. I wasn't sure if that would work so this is in fact a, a light tablet I don't know what this is going to do to the camera, but let's switch it on. There we go. So when I put my tape over, you can see through perfectly. The way I've decided to do it is because one side of this has a peel back, one side sticky, one side has a peel back. So if I stick that over there, just like that, and using a very sharp scalpel, I can cut these pieces out, peel the backing off and stick them where I need to stick them on here as a mask. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut these out. I can't do it with the camera in front of me. Right, so uh, using that light table I've cut out the shapes through double-sided tape. I've then removed the double-sided tape from each of the shapes and I have stuck them approximately in place where I believe they should go. So it's half the job done so I've got to repeat that process for this, uh, these other two sides. It's, um, it's a pretty fiddly job to do and I'm using a very sharp pointed scalpel, a pair of tweezers and in fact uh, my headgear which gives me uh, variable lens magnifications and this one's at two so I'm working pretty close to all of this and even doing that what I'm coming out with isn't perfect by a long shot so I've got to photocopy another one of these, cut out the rest to stick them on and then I'll do this front part and we'll come back to the video and I will show you what I end up with. <laughs> well that's my uh, attempt at masking this uh, emitter array off. You get an I sort of idea what it will look like. So that's now going to get a black spray, primer first and then a black spray. First coat of primer put on, what I've done here I've stuck the emitter onto a piece of double sided tape. So the tape is stuck to my wooden tray, it's a lid from an old box. I used to spray and then I've stuck the emitter I just pushed it straight down on top of the double sided tape once I've taken the backing this off. This allows it to stay in place also prevents any of the primer and paint getting into the inside. I'll give it another coat once it's dry of primer, let that dry and then another coat of satin black and uh, carry on with the build. I've just been toying with this uh, and I think I'm about to put the board in. So this is going to sit over like that. The actual button will be on top and as you push it, it will operate the buttons below. So this isn't glued or 
anything, it's just base, basically placed in here, like so. Now you need a bit of space, and as this is slightly lower than this top piece, by placing the card circuit over, Turning it around, uh, line up the LEDs, and that's basically it. Well, I've got power going to this, so if I put one of the buttons where they're supposed to go, I can get all the lights on. That's about it. So I'll get it straight. Something like that. That's because I'm pushing it from the back. Put that button in place. It's okay. Let's put this one here. Basically where I want that board. Tipping it, the buttons come out, these stay in place. I will tip it again and put a bit of hot glue just to hold it in place. the board. 